Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about entities. So let's start with a sample project. Okay, so let's say this is a requirement. Uh, you're given a project to create database structure for an application that would help users manage departments, employees, computers that employees are using, and also courses that employees can take. Okay, so this is assignment given to the IT team and you are assigned to create a database structure for uh, to support this application. Now you can't just open up uh, the like SPL Plus or any other software like Oracle Express and start creating tables right left and center. You have to go through a pro uh, proper process of uh, data modeling before you can reach a point where you start creating tables. You need to know eventually through this process what tables should be created and what should be the structure of the table okay so having said that this is, these are a few more details about the application uh, so once you're given the project you uh, went to the uh, the business person to ask more details about what this application is supposed to do and you are given this response that application should be able to let users manage names and descriptions of the department, names, salaries, and start dates of employees, assignment of employees to their department, uh, model and serial numbers of computers, assignments of computers to the employees, title and description of the courses, enrollment of employees in certain courses. Okay, so the application is supposed to do all that. In, uh, in the initial version of the project you were not, let me go back one slide, right? Uh, in the initial version of the project you were only told that the application is supposed to manage departments and employees and computers and courses, right? But you need more details. What expects of the department should this application supposed to manage? Like department has tons of attributes but you need to know are what aspects of departments are we managing, what aspects of employees are we managing, etc, etc. So this is the more detailed information that you got. Okay. Now, in our previous tutorial, you went through the process of data modeling. Okay. So these are the steps that are involved in a data modeling process. So the first step is we need to list relevant entities in the system. Okay. So how would we do that? So based on the project details, you need to pick things of importance in that environment okay if environment only pertaining to uh, the application so things that application is not concerned with should should be excluded uh, so what are the things of importance let me go back uh, so what are things of importance here we are managing names and description of departments so department is a thing of importance here okay another thing of importance is employees Another thing of important I can see is uh, computers, okay, and also the courses. The rest of the things like model and serial numbers are attributes of the computer, but computer itself is a thing of importance, okay. Similarly, name and description of departments. Uh, in that line, name and description is not thing of important. Thing of importance is the department itself. The name and description are the attributes of the department. Similarly, name, salaries, and start dates of employees. So, employee is the thing of importance. The rest of these things are the, the the attributes of the employees. So basically, in all these lines on the screen, seven eight lines, or maybe uh, one two four five six, yeah. Uh, so about seven eight lines, we have uh, about four things of importance here. Okay. So the first step of this data modeling, we need to list relevant entities, and we would list basically these relevant entities. Entities relevant to the application are department, employee, computer and course so we have four entities in the system okay that's our first step now in next tutorial I'll show you how to do uh, subsequent steps of data modeling okay I'll see you in the next tutorial